Hey there, Lynn Allen here. Welcome to another AutoCAD tip courtesy of Catalyst Magazine. Hope you're having a great week so far. I'm coming to you from Fort Lauderdale, so I'm doing okay. The weather here is great. A couple of weeks ago, I shared with you a tip that had to do with center lines. And I promised you the next time I saw you, I'd be talking about center marks. And I am pretty sure you have, you might not even been able to sleep. You've been on the edge of your seat ever since. So today, we're going to talk all about center marks. Now, if you recall, I mentioned to you that both center marks and center lines got a bump in IQ. Oh yeah, they are smarter inside of AutoCAD 2017 and higher because they are associative. And that means that if you make modifications to the object or object that you attach them to, those center marks and center lines are smart and they're going to be modified accordingly. They're smart, if you like them smart, high IQ. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Let's do some center marks. All right, so let's go to the annotate tab on the ribbon. Right there. And here is center mark and center line. Center mark. Very simple. I'm going to go ahead and grab an arc or a circle. We'll grab this outside circle. And just like that, it put a center mark on there. Now I want you to take a look at the command line and I want you to see that it's asking me for another arc or center mark. So the center excuse me, arc or circle, the center mark command repeats, unlike the center line command. Center line command, you are one and done. You have to hit an enter to go back into the center line command. The center mark command repeats, it loops. So if you're writing script files or list routines, it's important to keep that in mind. It always gets me, by the way. So I'm gonna hit an escape to get out or an extra enter. And let me show you what I'm talking about as far as it being associative. I'm gonna go ahead and grab that outside circle that we just put the center mark on. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to move it. Let's go ahead and move it over here. No problem. You'll see the center mark is smart. It knows, hey, I got to go with it as well. If I make a modification to the size of that circle, it knows it needs to adapt accordingly. All right. And the center mark has its own grips as well. So I can make modifications to it. I can stretch those grips out. I can technically move it away from the circle if I want to. Um, but don't do that. All right. Let's keep it the circle but you can make modifications to it independently as well and i did mention to you before that if you want to disassociate a center mark or center line there is a center disassociate command if you want to knock that iq back down and make it not so smart just say no friends don't let friends do that but there is a center disassociate command and then there's a center reassociate command so if someone plays a trick on you and makes your center marks not so smart you can bump that IQ back up and we associate them but you'll have to select the circle that it goes with all right so it's up to you so what else I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to select this center mark and I'm going to come over here to properties and I just want to show you that there are a variety of options in here that you can make modifications to the cross size right the cross gap the extent the left extension right extension so on and so forth you have a variety of things that you can change you can also modify these by using system variables. You can go into center. I just want to show you, I'm going to drop this list down, click on this little plus here, and you will see that there are quite a few system variables that you can modify directly as well. Like if you're writing a script routine, a, a script file, or if you're a list routine. So that's up to you as well. All right, now you, I believe, are the center mark and center line expert guru of all times. You know it all. You don't even need me anymore. I'm out. You probably won't even tune in for any more tips after that because you know it all. So I hope you have a great rest of the week. Give them a try. And I'll see you back here in two more weeks.